Okay, everybody, it's about to get fun. We're going to install User Spice, which is going to give us a user interface and features and settings we can change and all kinds of stuff like that. Now, one of the problems with doing a video like this is that things change. Uh, user Spice 5 is in development right now, and the version we're on right now is 4.4 and then 0.14. And so just so that everything looks the same. Now, to be honest, this thing will work on pretty much any version of User Spice. You could go back to one from a year ago and it would work fine. But what we want to do is we want to have everybody have the same settings in the same place. So we're going to download this particular version and everybody can take the course with this version. And then, and then at the end, I will show you how to update to the latest version. And so what we're going to do is instead of clicking on this download link, you are going to do a forward slash and do RFID1.zip. And the reason for that is because I may have you download the project in different um, states as we go so that you can kind of have a backup of all the code. So we're going to make this one the first one. RFID1.zip will start downloading. I already have it downloaded. And so um, you'll see I have it on my desktop here and I've unzipped it to RFID1. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this folder Smart Scan. And I just want to give it a name. I could call it RFID, but I already have a project called RFID. So I'm going to call it Smart Scan. To be honest, you can call it whatever you want as long as you remember what you called it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over an Explorer window. And I like to have my htdocs folder over here in the quick access so I can just copy stuff to it quickly. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it over there. And what I did just to make this easier is I've added Smart Scan over here to the Quick Access also. So now we have HTDocs Smart Scan. And I'm assuming you still have XAMPP running. Um, I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the browser and I am going to go to localhost Smart Scan. And what's going to happen is it's going to tell me that everything is good with my. Um, install and yours should be too because you have XAMPP. So I'm going to hit continue and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it localhost and then I'm going to give it a username of root and I'm going to leave this password blank and then I'm going to type in smart scan. So I guess I should take a step back. What we're doing here is we're filling in the credentials so that user spice can access the database. Now What's going on is that User Spice actually has the ability to create the database for you. If you've ever installed WordPress or something, you know that you have to go in there, create the database first, and then tell it the username and password. User Spice can do that for you, and I'm going to show you that. Now, you can also do your time zone here. So I'm going to do, um, I'm in Florida, so I'm going to do New York because that's the closest time zone. And I'm going to hit try these settings, and it's going to fail. It's going to say the database connection was successful, but... Um, there's no database called smart scan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it create it for me. So now I'm going to finalize the install and I'm going to tell it to clean up the install file. So what it's going to do is it basically deleted the install files, ran all the latest database updates. And then in this situation, there's a couple of error messages because I already had these tables on there. No big deal. And we're going to return to the dashboard. Now, I'm already logged in because I'm already logged in, but what you would do is you can go to admin and password, and that is going to allow you to accept the terms and conditions, and then now you have the database. And so, um, or sorry, now you have the dashboard. And so you can poke around here a little bit. You can see that there are some widgets and we can change these out. We can make our own custom widgets and you can see how many logins you have and how many new users and things about the permissions and all that kind of stuff. You can come down here and see the system snapshot and just get a little bit of information about your system. You can find out how to donate or any of these other things. These security updates are all listed here. Um, if you come over here to the left, there's all kinds of fun tools. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go to general and we will give our site a new name. And so we're going to call it smart scan. Now, if you want to, you can call it whatever you want. Um, so anyway, and then we're just going to say, we'll say the smart scan team. Okay. Oop, I didn't need to save that. So 
basically right now we can leave all the rest of the settings the same but what what you've done in less than three and a half minutes is you've given yourself a registration system that has Google login you can send emails you can um, you can set up menus you can decide who can access what you can set up these different permission levels you can install plugins that will let you do other things um, you know you can come in here and, and do multi-language and all kinds of fun stuff um, just right off the bat and so in less than four minutes we've created the basis of our application and now we're ready to get coding